Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Appa is going to teach you how to uh, make some very simple bihun soup at home. Very simple. It will take you probably less than 10 minutes. Okay, uh, now with very limited resources. Okay, so what's the most important with bihun soup is definitely the soup. So how to create the soup without going much trouble? Use these two things. Can you see? Okay, this is anchovies or ikan bilis. And there's few ways you can make use of these anchovies here. You can use raw anchovies or you can use like what I'm using right now. This is the pan fry, already pan fry. Now, there is a reason why I will pan fry because sometimes if you use it raw, um, the fishy smell can be a little bit overwhelming. So some people may not like that smell. So if what you can do here now is to um, pan fry, okay, pan fry with a little bit of oil, pan fry your anchovies until it is crispy. Don't burn it. Huh? Do it slowly using medium heat. Uh, pan fry until it is crispy like this. Okay, so this is about probably about uh, three tablespoon, three tablespoon of anchovies here. Pan fry, so it is already fragrant, and this will remove. After you pan fry, it will remove the uh, fishy smell a lot. Then you need this thing. This is the fried onion. Okay, you can uh, search for my uh, video on how to make fried onion at home very easily. I always have fried onion oil at home as well. And this is the fried onion, about two to two, about two uh, tablespoon. These two thing is going to make your broth taste very good, even when you cook in less than ten minutes. Trust me, all right. Of course, I'm going to use a uh, bihun today, so I have two pi uh, pieces of bihun here. Many people ask me what kind of bihun I like. I like A1. This is not a sponsored video, okay? But personally, I like A1. So. Uh, and then put it into cold water here and also let it uh, soften until like this okay and then you can add any ingredient you like i have some fish paste uh, fried fish uh, bean curd with fish paste here okay which i, uh, I bought it from the uh, wet market which i'm going to add it in and you will if you can this will be good to help uh tea bag why tea bag because you're supposed to put um, the anchovies into the tea bag yeah all right, I put the ancho the fried anchovies into the tea bag. If you don't have a tea bag, then you just put your anchovies in the soup directly. Uh, after you have gotten the flavor, you can just use a sieve to remove all the anchovies. Or because it is fried, you can actually eat it also. Okay, up to you. Don't worry. Okay, there's no rule in Sapa's kitchen. So I have about a 1.5 liter of boiling water here. I'm going to put in the anchovies and not forgetting the fried onion i'm going to put in the ingredient probably five minutes later so let it boil uh total time i'm going to let it boil for less than slightly less than 10 minutes now i'm just going to let it boil for the first five minutes then i'll add in the ingredient let it boil for another three to five minutes then do a bit of seasoning then it's done See how simple it is? Very, very simple. Then, uh, some people want, keep on saying, Appa, your, your, your videos and uh, your recipes are very simple. You know why it's very simple? Because anything too difficult, Appa also don't know how to do. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's come back in five minutes. This is after five minutes. Look at the broth. It's already very flavorful. Only a few minutes, you get some very nice broth. Okay, I'm going to add in some ingredient here. This is the... Uh, Fried bean curd with fish paste, a uh, fish paste, a uh, fish paste inside. Then I have one uh, fish ball left. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to let it continue cook for another three to five minutes, boiling. Then it is done. Just before serving, we are going to uh, do some final seasoning. That's all. Simple, right? Look at the color. Does it look like the Niang Tofu stuff? Tofu soup that you, they are selling outside? <laughs> it's very, very nice. Okay, basically done. Uh, this is only uh, another three minutes. So total cooking time only about eight minutes. So I'm going to first of all remove 
the uh, the anchovies. Then I'm also going to put my ingredient to the side. Because if you keep on cooking, the bean curd will actually melt. You don't want that. I have one single. Okay, and I'm removing some of the uh, onion. Okay. Keep it boiling. We can actually do a bit of season. Oops, sorry. We can actually do a bit of seasoning right here. I'm going to give it a little bit of salt a little bit of sugar if you don't feel comfortable adding sugar don't add okay don't worry some people scolded appa for adding the sugar you don't have to follow me okay and I'm going to give it a bit of saucing wine okay A little bit of uh, light soy sauce I'll add later, no problem. Okay, the broth is already very nice. See, look at this. This only eight minutes. Yeah, only eight minutes. Let me add a little few dashes of white pepper. Okay done so let's bring this to a boil i'm going to use this to uh, cook my uh, bihun or you can also choose to use a uh, separate uh, boiling water just to cook your bihun totally up to you today i'm lazy so so this is my bihun here already softened okay using uh, by soaking in the water just now Uh, it doesn't need to cook a long time, probably about 60 seconds or slightly more than that is more than enough. Let it boil for 60 seconds, we'll come back shortly. Alright, this is boiling after uh, slightly more than 60 seconds. If you're not sure how long will it take, all you need is to just put some into your mouth. <laughs> after one minute or slightly more than one minute, okay? Just put some in your mouth, then you will know whether it's enough for you. Is it soft enough for you, okay? Then I'm going to put it at the side. Let me adjust the angle for you a bit. Okay, let's combine our thing. So I have some bihun here. I'm going to give it a little bit of light soy sauce. Just a little bit. Few dash of white pepper. And a little bit of, little bit of onion oil. Yep. I have one whole egg here. Put it in. Yes, it is still raw, raw egg. And then I have some ingredient here. Some bean curd at the side. Then I have a fish ball here. Then our soup which is still boiling. Okay, make sure your soup is very hot. I'm going to let the soup to cook the egg. Alright. Okay, you already put the white pepper. Okay. And then I have some spring onion on top. Done. Let me adjust the angle for you. Okay, so here's my uh, bihun soup. Very simple. Takes you less than 10 minutes. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. 
Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page, you click like and follow button, follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. If you don't take raw egg, then you can actually pre-cook the egg as well. Up to you, don't worry, okay? Bye-bye.